you see some some toy toys growing there's a that's a stream little creek there on this side from there running back this way is reserve Ngati Hopoto reserve to Hekerangi this is actually to Hekerangi Rohe but it's Ngati Hopoto reserve but we we are for Nonga with Ngati to Hekerangi to Hekerangi is on on the south side of the river uh, but also this side and we 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 are the same that's Orokawa is the name of the reserve over there, but I, I'm concerned about this reserve here because this reserve has, has, a, has what I call an unjust lease over it. And here, we, when I was still a child, my mother and grandmother were alive. We, we lived on the little, the little house on Tawiti Nui. We came here to fish and grow gardens. My grandmother and them did. We'll go, um, my grandmother's people, they had a small house here a little batch thing or you know coat we call it and they gathered firewood off the beach and their water and caught fish on the beach this was there that's why the government reserved these areas for pe the Maori people the Maori people went f and they didn't they wanted land for farming so they let some put some si land aside where their fishing areas were so they could out of, out of the way of the of the of the, the government's activities so they placed they allowed these areas for them to live on and this is one such area but then they placed the west coast west coast lease and th and those leases allowed the farmer to then lease the land in perpetuity lease it forever even though we say this is maori land we can never we can never do anything with it because it's, it's got a perpetual lease over it, it and, and that's unjust they can they renew this lease roll these leases over every 21 years in my lifetime the le I'm, uh, th this present leaseholder took over this lease in 1966. That I was 16, and, and how many years is that? 45 years later, he still leases it. He's renewed the lease three times. The, f the man who farms here, and he, and the man who first bought that farm in, in uh, 1966, I was working with Mr. for Mr. Hoganberg then. I, I, I knew I knew him. He's an old man. He may even be dead now. Well, he's given the son to, given the lease to his son. And his son will probably give the lease to his son. In the meantime, what do I do for my son and his sons? Nothing. That's that's what I. That's what. Reserve, there was reserved for the the the, the, the Tangata Whenua, the people of Taranaki. Yeah. When the government European settlement began, they thought they'd reserve the lands for. They have to reserve some lands for the Maori people. And these are the sorts of places they reserved for us. And that's all right, while they, while they continued with breaking up the rest of the land for settlement. So they put aside reserves, and they were supposed to be protected under the Treaty of Waitangi. These reserves are supposed to, but were never protected. No, that's Maori land, but they don't, they don't need 50 acres to catch fish, lease it to the farmer. So okay. they, can, they can lease these lands forever under the present legislation. It's unjust. Now this has all changed from in my childhood. My grandparents had a had a had a camp had a camp in here. My grandmother and them. And they, this was a special place for them, all the Maori people together, and other other Maori Fano groups stayed on the other side there. Orokawa. The Ngati Hopoto people would come here. The Ngati Tuhekerangi people would come there, but they were all one and the same anyway. We were all the same people. There used to be a place here where my grandparents stayed, they used to have a garden here, and this is where I always came with my grandparents and sleep at night time with them. You know, they had a batch here. This is where I come to and I stay. This is the place, this is the spot I, I, I sleep here. This is where I sleep, this is where Michael, Michael sleeps, my, my other son. When he came back to Taranaki to work one time, he had nowhere to stay and he stayed here. He slept here and we used to get our wood and water from the river. This is the spot there? Yeah. Yeah, this is the spot here. Because it's a, what can I do about this? I could become angry. But the co-papa of, of uh, Parihaka and the Rangatiro Parihaka, Te Fitu Rongamai Tō Kāke, Te Tokawaru at the time, they said, no, we, we, we will not take up, we will not resort to, because they had taken up arms before and they, they, they said, this won't, this kind of, this won't do. We'll just, we will uh, live peacefully as we can and keep to the, the kaupapa, tikanga or pararaka is one of peace. Yes, they, the tribunal said yes, they want to hear what I have to say. 
then, then they will, I'm hoping that they will put our case, my case, to the powers of, of the government. I put my face in the, in the tribunal to do good work on our behalf of the Tangata Whenua of here in Ngāti Hopoto. Yeah, to, put, to allow us to return here. See, I have to sleep on the river here. I'm, I'm on the dock reserve here. I'm outside the fence. See the fence? See, I'm allowed to be where I'm sitting. But this is the uh, Department of Conservation because it's on the river and the, the beach and river here. This actually comes from the Department of Conservation where I'm sitting. So, I, so this, is their, this is their bit. And, then that, and that's the farmer's bit. They're looking at your bit. Yeah. That, that's the farmers, but I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And where my, where, so where, where can I, I? I was here before that farm. My mother's people were here before the farm and department. I got no. I, I respect them greatly. They have a right to be here. To, but, right to but, be but, but, but. I want to come. No, the government didn't leave that there for me to come back to, and my children and grandchildren. But at, as the law stands, these leases prevent us doing that. Now, th is that fair? But what if I moved back with my family over there? What would, what would he say? Would, what, what would happen then? I, I don't think he'd be too happy about that, because he holds the, he holds the legal right to occupy that. Where are you going to retire? What are you going to do? At this point, if I had to come back to Taranaki, I'd have to stay here. I'd have to bring my drive my truck or my caravan and park it here. And I would and, and I couldn't have a garden where the garden should be up there where my where, where the gardens used to be. Oh, well, it doesn't make me feel very good, does it? But I, 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 I'm, I want this at least removed so that when we come through the end of that track there, yes. that we're, we're back on our, 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 you know what I'm saying, our lands, our, our, what was granted to us. This, well, this is where I was born and raised, and this is where I wish to, to, to die and be buried. Along with on that little piece left to us, Taranaki Ngāti Hopo to Iwi. That's all I'm saying, and this this is where this is where um, we bury, in here in here Dick, this is where I, I bury the, the the what we call it in Maori the pitofenua pitofenua is placenta afterbirth the afterbirth of my grandchildren are buried in here, but this is the only, in, Ta, when I, in Taranaki this is my Tūranga Waiwai. Our Tūranga Waiwai is here. Nowhere else. I have no other. Well, Granddad when he had his horse and cart. He would come down from the house. He used to bring his horse and cart down here, Dick. When he was my granddad, when he lived at, and where, I, where the bridge is, he used to come down here on his horse and cart and gather driftwood off the beach. And there used to be a gate through here, and this was the old cart track. You can't see it now. Nobody uses this track now. You know, I got, I got, I got some pots and billies and a frying pan here that I. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> well, come. This my. Oh, there. <laughs> There's my pots and frying pan. Bring it out, Jude. There, it's rusted out. It's rusted out, but you yeah, still use it. Yeah, right? I still can get water. And this is still good. For I boil water in this, and there's my kettle. It's got water in it. Yeah. That's your jug, eh? Yeah. So oh, you can just put it on a. There's water or still water. Water is still in it. Rainwater. Yeah. The old frying pan. It was an only a, a nine one. It's rusted. See, but I use this. I won't use it again. I use it for. Yeah. I use it for many years. Yeah, but I always put them here with, normally on a day like today, I'm coming today, I'm not that organised for this day, I would, I would have a tent and uh, my sleeping bag and then I would bring wood and put it up and then I, got a, I start boiling water. Oh, this, is all, this is all kahu, all kahu. There's uh, tani, tanifa in here. My grandmother told me about the tanifa, tanifa lives in here, in this part of the river. You yeah, blessing. That's what I always do when I come here. Uh, I just thank our, our Lord and Maker for this day, giving us this opportunity, me and my children and, and grandchildren, to meet here with Dick, uh, who has given up of his time to record our little Farno story. For that we give you thanks. In the name of our Lord, Amen. I just sing a way. Okay. Te aroha, te waika pono. Where is my home, my home, my home? Where is 
my family, y'all, my family, y'all. How will we know which way to go if no one is going? 